this video, we're going to show you the best way to be playing defense right now, how to properly run Mabel coverage in Madden, and why it is the best base defense right now for the way the game plays. So um, we're going to be showing you this concept out of the Big Nickel Over G. We're actually working on uh, updating our Big Nickel Over G defensive ebook. If you're not a Patreon member yet, join the Patreon today for just $10. Link is going to be down in the description. You'll get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates to those ebooks. And with the latest patch, we have a lot of updating to do to all the ebooks, trying to help people uh, get stops. It's really hard right now to get stops, but hopefully this video is going to give you kind of a glimpse into how to properly run Mabel coverage, why it is helpful, and what your purpose of uh, the Mabel coverage really truly is. Okay. So uh, we're in the Kansas City Chiefs playbook, I think by far the best defense playbook right now with just the way the game plays. And we're going to be showing you this out of the big nickel over G. Now, uh, just for Praxmo purposes, I'm going to uh, sub out uh, these players that have the X factors, at least on the defensive line, so they don't go crazy. Um, and then we're going to be utilizing uh, pretty much Tampa too. You can create a Mabel coverage out of anything, but I think it's easiest to create it out of a uh, a cover two or a Tampa two style of approach. Now what's cool about big nickel over G um, is the fact that you have these unique adjustments for the slot corner, but we're going to actually turn on the slot cornerback package so that we go back to the standard adjustments that we already have in, in the nickel defense. You could, if you want to um, run it on a regular, but I'm just going to use the, the slot cornerback package. Now a Mabel coverage in Madden, um, is a double flat. And when people say double Mabel, that means they're going to Mabel both sides of the formation. I actually don't think double Mabel is the best way to be playing defense in Madden because the way zones work is they're actually hash mark dependent. So we're going to put our flats on 30. We're going to put our curl flats on five. If you are playing somebody that is running RPOs or they're trying to hit you really quick in the flat and you just can't stop it, bump these curl flats down to zero and uh, you'll be surprised to actually pick off uh, bubble screens. And then that's pretty much it. The hook curls, you could put them on 5, 10, or 15, and that's honestly up to you, or you could just leave them on default, okay? Um, for right now, we're going to leave them on default. Okay, so like I said, do it out of cover 2. I think it's easiest, but you don't have to do it out of cover 2. It's just you already have the cloud flats. The main thing you want to do when you're running Mabel coverage, you want to really pa uh, emphasize the use of the short side Cloud flat. If you look at this formation here, the ball is on the left side of the, uh, the left hash mark. So there's more space to the right side of the field than there is to the left side of the field. However, in Madden, the zones are actually going to play much, much, much better to the wide side than they will to the short side. So what we want to do defensively is we want to, generally speaking, user the short side linebacker. So in this case here, the linebacker on the short side is going to be um, Isaiah Simmons. So we're going to, um, you know, you could, we're going to send four out of this. So you could put him on a deep blue zone if you want. Now, how do we Mabel coverage? What we're going to do uh, to Mabel coverage is we are going to put the slot cornerback on a curl flat. And what we have is we have that 30 yard cloud. Typically, I like to back him up so you could press and then you could manually back up that cloud flat. And basically, your defensive front looks somewhat like this. From there, you have that curl flat. What that curl flat's going to do is it's going to take away underneath flat routes, such as like a running back table route, a drag route, stuff like that. Now, when I said we want to use the short side, it's because the wide side, either if you run a curl flat to that linebacker, if you use a vertical hook, whatever you choose to do from a coverage perspective on the right side of the screen, you're going to have pretty good um, – you're going to be able to play pretty good defense with this. Now – the coverage on the right is really up to you. What I generally tell people is you want to roll into the short side. So we're going to outside uh, third or outside quarter, that corner. We're going to inside quarter or we're going to inside third, that safety. And then with the linebacker, you can either leave him in the yellow zone or you can drop him in a curl flat so he'll defend flat routes. What a Mabel coverage is going to do and the whole purpose of, of a Mabel coverage in Madden is to force your opponent to have to throw the ball basically in between the numbers. They're going to have to throw the ball in the middle of the field, which is where our user is. So another little thing that you can do is you could drop a defensive lineman into a zone. Now, if you do want to drop a defensive lineman into a zone, I really recommend to blitz your user. 
okay? But what this does such a good job of, and again, the primary purpose of a true Mabel coverage in Madden is to take away the sidelines specifically on the side that you're mabling. So you'll see right here, if I try to throw this deep corner route, it's not ever going to get open uh, with this coverage. Another route that's never going to get open on the Mabel is things like uh, slot apprentice posts. One of the best routes in Madden uh, this year, and one of the best routes I think for the last several years of Madden, have been the slot apprentice posts. So we're going to go streak. We're going to do the slant post concept. Okay. Now, if you look here, I'm going to use that slant, and what's going to happen is you'll see that post is going to run right into the cloud flat, as you see right there. So the whole point of this, again, is to try to force your uh, opponent to have to throw the ball in the middle of the field and have to start running certain routes to beat this, things like curl routes, things like uh, seam wheels, stuff like that. And then as they start to do that, then what we can do is we can then um, send some pressure and maybe go to a cover shell. This is something I've been kind of doing a little bit recently. But we're going to send some pressure now because they typically are going to send five out. So we're sending some pressure. And then we're going to go with a deep half on the corner. And we're going to go with a curl flat zone to the safety. Again, you've got to have the slot cornerback package on. But what you're able to see now is we have pretty good underneath coverage, pretty good over top coverage. And now, you know, they may be trying to, to threaten that right side. And they send everybody on a route, and we can get that quick pressure in at the quarterback. This is the basic chess match that I think you're going to start to see um, at the highest the highest levels um, of Madden is, is basically what I'm showing you right here. They're, you're going to see defensive players are going to be mabling, usually using the double Mabel coverage in their zone to be able to take away a flood to the short side of the field. And then on the other side of the field, I think you're going to see this cover six style, I think personally is pretty good. Um, you can do this, or maybe they, you know, drop a, a purple and a hook curl uh, over here on the right, which allows uh, and will help in defending these uh, really good slant post style concepts. You'll see right here, that yellow zone will get in that slant area, and then you're able to kind of work back to the post. So bottom line is this, guys. Double Mabel coverage will help defend corner routes and crossing routes and slot apprentice posts, which are some of the most popular routes in the game. And then when you couple that with maybe a standard cover four, where you're able to lurk yourself in the middle of the field, all of a sudden your defense now forces the opponent to have to have good route combos. And if you get a good shed, you're going to end up with pressure on the quarterback. Guys, to learn more about becoming a better defense player, join the Patreon. We've got a ton of updates off this latest patch, the best blitzes in the game, best coverage concepts, how to stop the run, everything in there that you need to be successful. If you're not a Patreon member yet, join the Patreon today for just $10. The link is going to be down.